Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to all of you from my side as well. Thank you for joining us today here at the conference Bologna Goes Digital. First of all, I would like to thank the Hochschulforum Digitalisierung. Hi, Janoschka, where are you? Oh, in the back, modest as ever, for inviting the DAD to host this event during the topic week, Shaping the Digital Turn, and the Federal Ministry of Education and Research of Germany for the financial support. I think Herr Hassenbach already arrived as well, in, in the middle, okay. This conference brings together representatives of all levels of higher education institutions representing teaching, research, and administration, not only as speakers, but also in the audience. Therefore, I'm looking forward to the contributions of the distinguished speakers we invited, but also to those from the audience. Let's be as interactive as possible. I have to admit that I've been extremely impressed by the overwhelming interest into the conference. And I'm pleased to welcome so many attendees coming from countries all over Europe. Finland, where is Finland? Nice to have you here. To Spain, there should be some guests from Spain actually. Greece to the Netherlands. Who is who? Greece? No. Netherlands? Oh, you are from Greece, I see. So, a real European event. That being said, I'm truly sorry that we are not able to admit everybody interested in the event, and I hope that many will follow the discussion via the live stream today. Having the opportunity to follow the keynote and panel discussions from your homes or offices is not the only benefit of using digital media, of course. We can also follow up on the discussions after the conference by using the communication platform. You find the link on the screen. Can we? Do we? Christian? Don't see it yet, so we still have to work it on it. Herr Janoschka, any idea? <laughs> huh? Okay, leaflet. We still stick sometimes to paper. Um, at least you find it on the pr uh, program leaflet so that we can stay connected afterwards and are able to include those who could not join us here today. These are opportunities of digital media most higher education institutions already are making use of to increase accessibility, flexibility, and sustainability of their study programs. On the other hand, digital medias do have their limits. Many of you took on a long journey to be with us today. Think about Finland, for example. And there's a reason for that, even in times when we have the technical capacity to communicate online in video conferences or to take part in virtual reality simulations, personal encounter and communication, networking face-to-face -face have and will keep their own value. This is, of course, not the only argument for academic mobility, and I'm speaking of physical mobility here. I would go even further and underline, as Thomas Bieger, rector of the University of St. Gallen, did four weeks ago in the Neue Zürcher Zeitung, that the value of being present at a specific campus and of being part of a specific local community will even increase due to the digital transformation of our societies. Yes, our graduates will need digital skills, but they will also need human competence, especially in difficult times. 
and intercultural and communication skills will be of eminent importance. Those skills are best acquired through emerging into another culture, personal contact with the country and its higher education institutions will remain the focal point of mobility. And so any fear that virtual mobility may replace physical mobility are somewhat unfounded. But on the other hand, digitalization can offer new forms of counseling and guidance in a far more personalized way according to the respective needs of students and of institutions of higher education to make physical mobility more successful. Both goes hand in hand. We at DAD actively encourage and support universities to introduce international curricula that combine virtual and blended learning opportunities with physical mobility. As far as Germany is concerned, it can be assumed that virtual degree programs with attendance phases will also become widely established, particularly for shorter stays, prep courses, and working together in project teams Online can deepen the experience abroad and make it also more sustainable. Furthermore, by using digital formats, we can open up international experiences for students who cannot, for whatever reason, go abroad for a longer period or take part in a study program abroad at all. We know from our surveys that there will always be a certain percentage of students for whom going abroad is not an option. Thanks to digital learning formats, those students can take part in learning activities offered by higher um, education institutions worldwide, and they can acquire intercultural and language skills in the virtual classroom. This is what we call internationalization at home. Moreover, every student today requires the ability to work in a globally distributed team in a virtual world. All students need to be trained accordingly. Virtual mobility windows should therefore become the norm in every course offered. We are currently working on developing new funding formats for measures like this. At our conference today, the first panel discussion and most of our workshops and sessions will address the impact of digital transformation on student mobility, teaching, and learning. With more than 180 projects funded at German universities by DAD programs alone, I know there's a lot going on. And I'm really looking forward to the upcoming panels and sessions to get more to know more good practices and learn more about developments all over Europe. Internationalization and digitalization, both are of greatest relevance for higher education institutions, opening up new potential and bright horizons all over the world, but especially in Europe. Whereas Internationalization already is of great strategic importance for most higher education institutions in Europe. Just think about the idea of European universities. Digitalization offers ways to further promote and shape internationalization. Both processes are cross-cutting in the truest sense and deeply connected, and both will bring about lasting changes in the way higher education institutions will operate and cooperate in the future. We chose the topic Bologna Goes Digital for this event, and for good reasons, because we see efforts towards further integration of the European higher education area as a pacemaker for internationalization 
for international curricula, for mutual recognition of degrees and credits, and for cooperation in research and teaching at European higher education institutions. <coughs> in addition, with projects undertaken under the umbrella of the Erasmus Plus program, such as the European Student Card or the Erasmus app, that are aiming at making administrative processes more efficient by using digital technologies, we see that these projects also have a direct impact on the administration of mobility in Europe and often also beyond. All in all, we are aiming at a digital student journey. I will come back to this later. In 2016, the Working Group on Internationalization at the German Forum of Higher Education in the Digital Age, or in German, Hochschulforum Digitalisierung, that I had the pleasure to chair, published the following recommendation. I quote, much of the potential of digitalization can be implemented more effectively in cooperation with other higher education institutions. Given that many challenges cannot be solved by individuals or individual institutions alone, it makes sense to form higher education networks. Such networks can assist their members among other activities a mutual recognition of courses, certifying courses, joint production activities, and exchanging teaching content. In addition, digital media used in inter-university cooperation offer new ways to cater for minor subjects or internationalization of academic programs. Today, I could not stress the need for such networks more. Let me just point to the potential of sharing data, not only for research, but also for administrative processes, for instance, for the use of algorithms and databases to enable smoother administration, easier credit recognition, and quality assurance processes. I'm certain that the creation of European university networks will have an accelerating effect on working together to enable a student journey that makes the most of all that European higher education has to offer. We will come back to this issue in the upcoming panels and sessions. <coughs> in order to use the potential offered by digitalization for the purpose of internationalization, it is essential to think of digitalization and internationalization as tightly linked and to, to conceive both processes as overriding strategic goals that concern all levels of higher education institutions. But higher education institutions are, of course, not single actors in the Bologna process, and they need support on the national and European level to successfully cooperate in Europe and to reach the full potential in connecting internationalization and digital transformation. Our last panel will therefore look at the linkages between internationalization and digitalization from a pol uh, policy perspective and will discuss which support structures are needed to successful cooperation in the digital area. Coming to a close, I would like to quote Theodor Heuss, the first president of the Federal Republic of Germany, who said a long time ago, I quote, one day machines will perhaps not only be able to compute, but to think. However, they will never have an imagination. Today, 60 years later, we cannot be too sure about that anymore. What is certain, however, is that we will need all of our imaginative capacity to conceive how deeply 
our world will be changed in the coming years and decades due to new technologies, artificial intelligence, and not least digital transformation. With this in mind, I'm looking forward to a day of joint efforts in imagination, to challenging discussions and many ideas to take home. I wish you a great and fruitful conference and much inspiration for your work. Thank you very much.